really don't think you have anything to worry about, Charlie Brown. <coughs> After all, a person's characteristic isn't really established until he's at least five years old. But I am five. I'm more than five. Oh, well, that's the way it goes. <laughs> his inferiority and his lack of confidence. His clumsiness, his inferiority and his lack of confidence. His stupidity, his clumsiness, his inferiority and his lack of confidence. <laughs> Charlie Brown has never pitched a winning baseball game, never won at a game of checkers, never been able to keep a kite in the air, and never successfully punted a football. Sometimes I am marvelous at his existence. I think Charlie Brown has nice hands. It's truly a dog fight. I feel so neglected. Charlie Brown never brings me a cup of coffee in the morning. Now, Linus, I want you to take a good look at Charlie Brown's face. Could you please look still a minute at Charlie Brown? Thank you. Now, this is what we call a failure face. Notice how it has failure written all over it? Study it carefully, Linus. You rarely get to see such a good example. Notice the deep lines, the dull, vacant look in the eye. Yes, I would say this is one of the finest examples of a failure face you're going to see for a while. so bright. How could anything possibly go wrong on a day like this?
Well, lunchtime to the monk the worst times of the day for me. Guess I better see what I got. Hate it, butter. Some psychiatrists will say that people who eat peanut butter sandwiches are lonely. I guess they're right. If they're really lonely, the peanut butter sticks to the roof of their mouth. <sighs> Boy, the PTA sure did a good job of eating these benches. Hey, there's that little red-headed girl over there. I wonder what she'd say if I went over and asked her if I could have lunch with her. She'd probably laugh in my face. It's hard on a face when it gets laughed in. There's no reason why I couldn't go over there. I could do that right now. All I'd have to do is stand up. I'm standing up. I'm sitting down. I'm a coward. I'm so much of a coward, she wouldn't even think of looking at me. She hardly ever does look at me. In fact, I can't remember her ever looking at me. Why shouldn't she look at me? Is she so great and I'm so small that she couldn't spare one little minute just to... Uh, she, she's looking at me. She, she, she. <laughs> no, Patty, you're thinking of the dress that I wore to Lucinda's party. The one I'm talking about is the very light blue one with the design embroidered on the waist. I don't remember that dress, Lucy. Well, something like this. The skirt went like this, and it had poofy sleeves, and the sash went something like this. Uh -huh, I remember. Well, that was the dress that I was wearing when I met Frida last week. And she told me. <laughs> <laughs> Lunchtime is among the worst times of the day for me. <laughs> <laughs> that little red-headed girl is looking at me with this stupid sack on my head. She must think I'm the biggest fool alive. <laughs> but if she isn't looking, I can just leave the sack on and she never notice. And again, I can't tell if she's looking or not until I take the sack off. <laughs> but if I never take it off, I'll never have to know if she was looking or not. On the other hand, it's very hard to breathe in here. <laughs> <sighs> she's not looking at me. I wonder why she never looks at me. <laughs> oh well, one more lunch period over. Just 2,863 to go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
ever try to discuss marriage with a musician. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Amen. I think most of us take the newspapers too much for granted. We don't really appreciate the miracle that is the modern daily newspaper. Of course, it's difficult to put into words just why one likes the newspaper. I like a newspaper because you don't have to dial it. Made it terrific. 
trophy. <laughs>
red-headed girl and introduce myself. I think I'll introduce myself, and, and then I think I'll ask her to come over here and sit by me. I, I think I'll ask her to come over here and sit by me, and, and then I think I'll tell her how much I've always admired her. I think I'll flap my arms and fly to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday, I was a dog. Today, I'm a dog. Tomorrow, I'll probably still be a dog. There's just so little hope for advancement. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
become queen by being born of the royal family of the correct lineage. And then she can only take over the throne after the death of the reigning monarch. I can't think of a possible way you could ever become queen. Sorry, Miss Eve, but it's true. And in the summertime, I will go to my summer palace and I will have lots of things to do and everything and all the people. What do you mean I can't be a queen? True. There must be a loophole. This kind of thing always has a loophole. One shouldn't be kept from being queen if she wants to be. It's undemocratic. Good grief. knowing the right people. I'll bet a few pieces of well-placed correspondence and I'll be queen in no time. I think I'll watch television. I know. If I can't be rich, I will be very, very rich. And I will work and work until I can buy myself a queendom. Yes. I will buy myself a queendom and I'll kick out the old queen and take over the whole operation myself. I will be head the queen. And when I go out in my coach, all the people will, will... What happened to your queendom? What? What happened to your queendom? Oh, oh that. I've um, given it up. I've decided to devote my life to cultivating my natural beauty. <laughs> little more wind, little more hope. Gotta get this stupid kite to fly. Gotta make sure it doesn't snag, doesn't droop, doesn't drag. Gotta watch out for every little whoops. Little less speed, little more slack, little less rise, little more tact. Gotta keep my wits about me now. Gotta make sure it doesn't get the best of me till I get it in the air somehow. Millions of little kids do it every day. They make a kite and throw it in the sky. Leave it to me to have a one cool kite that likes to see a little kid cry. Little less talk, little more skill, little less luck, little more will. Gotta face this fellow I do why. Now that I've seen you chasing holes, climbing trees, digging holes, catching your string on everything passing by. Happy Valentine's Day. 
Okay. Here goes. Don't get nervous. This is for you, Lucy. Merry Christmas. <laughs>
not going to say anything today. But at least you tried, Snoopy. Even though you failed, <coughs> it's good to know that you've done your best. I hate to disillusion her, but I don't even know what a rabbit smells like. <laughs> I want this to be the biggest and best game of our season. I want everyone out there playing with everything he's got. Oh, Charlie Brown, I thought of some new strategy that we can use. Why don't you tell the other teams that we're meeting at a certain place and at a certain time, only it's not the real place. And so then, when they don't show up, we'll win by forfeit. Isn't that a good strategy? <laughs> I don't understand these managers who don't like to use good strategies. Uh, if we really grit our teeth and, and bear down, I'm sure we can finish off this season with Charlie a... Charlie Brown, is Lucy going to pitch again? Because if she is, I quit. Do you know what she does? She calls me out to the mound for a conference. I go out there, see, for a secret conference on the mound. And do you know what she does? She kisses me on the nose. <laughs> Should we really grit our teeth and, and bear uh, down? Charlie Brown, I don't think you should be a playing manager. I think you should be a bench manager. That's a good idea. You'd be a great bench manager, Charlie Brown. You could say, bench do this or bench do that. And when they go to the playing field, you can even decide where we put the bench. You could say, put the bench here or put the bench there. Can't Charlie Brown, what's the sense in us playing this game if we know we're going to lose? Even if there was like a million to one chance we might win, it would make some sense. Well, there may not be a million to one chance, but I'm sure there's at least a billion to one chance. Now, come on, give me a T. T. Give me an E. E. Give me an A. A. Give me an M. M. What do you got? T. There is no team like the best team, which is our team, my dear. We will show you. Yes, we had more to do now. 
already feel myself glowing with self-awareness. <laughs> oh, Patty, I'm glad you're here. I'm stuck in this survey, and I wondered if you'd answer a few questions for me. 110, see, poor, no, none of the above. And what are you going to do about the debt you made my bicycle? Word of these surveys sure does get around fast. <laughs> Oh, oh, Linus, I'm glad you're here. I'm conducting a survey, and I wondered if you'd answer a few questions for me. Sure, go ahead. Okay, the first question is, on a scale of 0 to 100, with 50 as average, 75 as above average, and 90 as exceptional, where would you rate me in regards to crabbiness? Uh, you're my big sister. That's not the question. No, but that's the answer. Come on, Linus, answer the question. Look, Lucy, I know very well that if I give you any sort of honest answer, that you're going to flood me. So I'm just not going to answer the question. Linus, a survey that is not built on truthful answers is like a house that is built on a foundation of sand. Now, would I be conducting this survey if I didn't co expect complete candor to all the responses? Now, what is your rating? 95. One shouldn't be kept, shouldn't be able to keep her word if the rating is over 90. Now, what? That is 110, 51, hmm, oh my gosh, Schroeder was right, <laughs> I'm a crab, <laughs> I've been spreading crabbiness everywhere I go, I am a super crab, <sighs> I am so selfish, it's a wonder I have any friends at all, or even associates. What's the matter, Lucy? Don't talk to me, Linus. I don't deserve to be spoken to. I don't deserve to breathe the air that I breathe on this earth. Yes, you do. Name me one good reason why I deserve to go on living on this planet. Well, for one, you have a little brother that loves you. <laughs> Every now and again, I say the right thing. <laughs> Now why is it I always have my supper in the orange dish and my drinking water in the yellow dish? One of these days I'm going to have my supper in the orange dish, my drinking water in the yellow dish. Life's just too short not to live it up a little. Linus, did you fill up all those forms from the software you gave us today in school? Yeah, I put down my name, my address, and my telephone number. Well, what did you put where it said family doctor? I wasn't too sure, so I put Dr. Sue. <laughs> My teeth are tingling again. I feel I've just got to bite someone before sundown. Bacho, don't start reading that! And yet, I realize that society frowns on such action. So what happens? I'm stuck with tingling teeth. <laughs> Sorry. 
are they have to have little stupid things, you know, that make them feel neat or something? Duck. 
production about it. Just sit down and eat. <laughs>
good man, Charlie Brown. <laughs> Thank you.